Today in Ray's Arithmetic, we're going to do lesson number six. And lesson six is writing numbers. This is going to give us practice in writing numbers as I call them out. Now what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and get a sheet of paper and a pencil or pen, something to write with, because we're going to call these numbers out and we're going to write them down. You're going to write them on your paper, and I'm going to write them here on my board. So I'm going to start on this screen here. I'm going to write up on my board. I'm going to call the number out. Now, we're going to do number one and probably number two, if we can make the time for it in this lesson. We're going to do the numbers that it says to write down. And the first one, if you see in the book in lesson six, the first one, it says instead of zero, it uses the word, here, I'll write it down here, not, not, N-A-U-G-H-T. Okay, well, this is an old word. It actually means it's another word for nothing. That's kind of literally what it means. And for our purposes here, we're going to substitute the word zero. Because when we're talking about numbers, not, which means nothing numerically, is called zero. So just a little something to point out as we go through this. So number one, let me just clear the board. Okay, if you have your sheet of paper and your pencil or your pen ready, we're going to do these one by one. Okay, you ready? Okay, we're going to start with zero. And I want you to write zero on your paper, and I'm going to write zero here on my board. So if you've already done that, or if you need to pause the video, go ahead. But I'm going to go ahead and write zero up here. You ready? Hopefully yours looks like this. Okay, that is a zero. Okay? Now... What I want you to write below that, I'm going to have to clear mine out, but below the zero, write a one. In fact, let me do this. Let's say this is your paper, a zero, and then below the zero, you want to write a one. Okay, have you done that already? I'm going to write my one right here. So my one is going to go right below the zero. Okay. Some people write a one like this or like this, and that's nice. That's good, just for ease and efficiency and all that we'll just we'll just keep it simple and write our ones like this all right so that's a one now what I want you to do now since you've got a sheet of paper and I've got a little board here I'm gonna to have to make space for these numbers as I write them so the next thing I want you to write is the number 10 all right so if you need to pause this you go ahead and do that and write 10 and then start it up again but I'm gonna write 10 here on my board and 10 as you probably already know by now looks like this one and a zero next to each other, right? That is a 10. Okay, that's easy. Let's try our next number. Let's go to a two. Okay, let us write two. So you write two on your paper, and I'm gonna write two up here on my board. So there's the number two. Okay, have you got two on your paper? Okay, well now let's write the number 20. 20, I'm going to write that right below the 2. You write it below your 2 on your paper. And I'm going to write it right here. And 20 is pretty easy. It's just 2 with a 0 tacked on the end of it. Okay, 2 and a 0. 20. All right. Let's go to 3. Okay, you write 3 on your paper, and I'll write 3 here on my board. So 3 is going to look like this, isn't it? three okay and now below your three you want to write thirty okay I'll give you a minute to write thirty you pause the video if you need to but you write thirty below your three and I'm gonna write thirty here below my three so thirty is gonna look like this we're just taking our three and putting a zero next to it when you read it that way it's thirty I should say when you write it that way you read it as 30, that's what that number is. Okay, let's go to, what do you think we're going to do next? Four, you're right. Four, so that's what you're going to write on your paper for the number four. This is the figure for the number four, is what our book calls figures for these numbers. Now below the four, you want to write 40. All right, so you maybe are guessing the pattern that we're following, 40, is going to be a 4 with a 0 after it. Okay? 
30, you got 40. Just like 30, just like 20, just like 10. The single number with the zero after it changes it from 1 to a 10, 2 to a 20, two, 3 to a 30, and now 4 to a 40. Okay, let's try 5. Okay, you put 5 on your paper. Write 5, and I'll write 5 here. There's 5. Now below your 5, write 50. 50. And I'm going to write it down here. Five and a zero. Okay, so that's fifty. We got five here, fifty here. All right, let's try six. You write six on your paper, and your six should look something like this. Right? Is that a six? Okay. Now write sixty below that. Underneath your six, you write the number sixty. So your sixty is going to look like. What? We already know it's got a 6 in it. And then, of course, we have what next to it? A 0. So 6 and a 0 is 60. Okay, let's try 7. You write 7 down on your paper, and I'll write 7 on my board. So 7 looks like that. Okay, below your 7, you want to write 70. 70. And your 70 is going to look like this. 7 and a 0, huh? 7 and a 0 like that is 70. Okay, now let's write 8. You write 8 on your paper. And I'm going to write 8 up here. That's 8. And below your 8, you want to write what? 80. I'm going to write 80. So below my 8, I'm going to put 80 right here, which is going to be written like this. 8 and a 0. So that's 80. All right, let's go to 9. Now we're going to write 9. So you write 9 on your paper. I'm going to write 9 here. So the 9 is going to look like this. And then 90, we're going to write that under R9. Now tell me, or rather write, what 90 looks like. There we go, 9 and a 0, huh? 9 and 0, and that's 90. Okay. Well, that was number 1, problem number 1. Let's go to number 2. We'll, we'll finish up with that. Now let's write the number 11. Okay, can you write the number 11 on your paper? 11 is going to look like this. Two ones next to each other, huh? That's 11. Okay. How about 12? I'm going to put my 12 over here. Well, you write 12 on your paper. You know, it's a 1 and a 2 next to each other like that. So that's 12. But you know what? Let's write 21 next on your paper, and you're gonna, I'm going to put 21 here on my board. I'm going to I'm going to write it over here to the right. So I'm going to put 21. Now, a 21 has a one and a two next to each other, but you notice something different here between these two. Yeah, you just flip the order with the two in front. Now it's 21. With the one in front, it was 12. See the difference? 12, 21. Okay. Let's go to the next number. How about 13? You write 13 on, the, on your paper. And I'll write 13 here on my board. So 13, does your 13 look like this? A 1 and a 3? Hope so. That's 13. Now right below that, I want you to write 31. So you write 31 below the 13. Well, your 31 is going to look kind of like the 13, isn't it? Except the 3 is going to be first. Instead of being after the 1, it's before the 1. So this is 31, and this is 13. Okay, see the difference? All right, let's go to 14. Can you write 14 on your paper? 
Here, I'll give you a chance to start. You write 14, then I'll write 14. So 114, I already gave away the first part of it. It's got a 1 and then a 4, right? So that's 14. Okay, now write 41. Below your 14, write 41. Well, as you may already have guessed, 41 looks like 14 except in reverse. So the 4 comes first when you write 41. When the 1 comes first, it's 14. See that? Pretty nifty, huh? All right, let's go to number 15. Let's do, let's write 15. You write 15 on your paper, and I'll write 15 here. So 15 is going to look like this. Okay. Now 51. You want to write below your number 15. Write 51. 51 is going to look like that, isn't it? When the 5 comes first, it's 51. When, it, when the 1 comes first, it's 15. Okay, that's the difference. Okay, let's do 16. You write 16 on your paper. 16. And I'll write 16 here. Not too much slant. There we go. Here's 16. That's 16. 1, 6 is 16. Well, write 61 below that. Can you write 61? 61. Look at that. It just changed places, huh? When the 1 is first, it's 16. When the 6 is first, it's 61. All right. I think we're cracking the code here. Let's do 17. 17. You write that on your paper while I write it on my board here. So 17 is going to look like that. Okay, below 17, write 71. 71. Can you write 71? And I'll write it here. 71. See there? When the 1 is first, it's a 17. When the 7 is in front, it's 71. Okay, let's do 18. You write 18 on your paper, and I'll write 18 here. So 18 is going to be what? A 1 followed by an 8. Now below that, write 81. 81 is going to be what? An 8 followed by a 1. 81. So that's 18, that's 81. See the difference? It's pretty easy. How about, let's do one more. Let's do 19. You write 19 on your paper, and I'll write 19 here. Okay, there's 19, a 1 and a 9, right? Okay. Now below that, write 91. 91. Just by the sound of it, you can tell the 9 comes first, huh? Well, maybe, because this we call this 19, we call this 91. Uh, I guess that all that tells us is there's a 9 in the number, huh? But you know the difference. This is 19, because the 1 comes first. And this is 91, because the 9 comes first. Anyway, you get the hang of that. Well, that's all we'll do for now. That's the end of number two. We'll continue lesson six next time. So you want to keep practicing so you get really good at these numbers, and we'll see you next lesson. And in the meantime, you can go to raisearithmetic.wordpress.com for information about Raise Arithmetic as well as Homeschool Solutions and Ideas. Okay, bye-bye for now.